fishing team in Cape Carteret, North Carolina. Here today to talk to you about your boat's rub rail replacement. Whether it's been damaged or you just want to improve the appearance of your vessel, Taco Marine has the product that you need. It's a complete rub rail replacement kit that includes the rub rail, the vinyl insert, and all the hardware that you're going to need for this do-it-yourself project in the privacy of your own driveway using the tools that you probably already have in your garage. There are many styles to choose from, so make sure you go to www.tacomarine.com and get the style that you need for your boat. So, let's get started and we'll show you how simple and complete that Taco Marine has made this project for you. The first part of this project is the removal of the old rub rail from your boat. This boat has an end cap that all we need to do is take a couple of screws out to get started. So let me show you how we do that. removed a couple of screws, the end cap simply comes off so that you have access to the rub rail and the vinyl insert to remove it. On this boat, the vinyl rub rail insert has a hole in the center of it that allows access with your screwdriver so you can put it in it and pull it out of the rub rail itself. Once the insert has started to remove, you can pull it all the way out of the rub rail itself, all the way around the boat. After you've removed the vinyl insert, it gives you access to the stainless steel screws that are holding on the old rub rail. All you do is take a reversible drill and take them out. There's a bunch of them in there because they're going to be about six inches apart. So we'll get this project started and remove the old rub rail. gotten to the point where I'm about to take the final screw out of the old rub rail. Once it's removed, this rub rail is going to come right off and you'll be able to clean it up and prepare it for the new rub rail going on from Taco. There was nothing hard about that process. It took all of about 15 minutes to remove the rub rail from this boat. We're going to do some prep, get the new one ready, and we'll show you that process next. Once the old rub rail has been removed, sometimes you'll find that some 5200 or silicone have been placed around the screws. If it has been, just take a putty knife out of your garage and you would simply scrape it off as you go. This boat did not have the problem with 5200 around the screws, so we're going to take a pressure washer and clean the surface to prepare it for the installation of the new taco rub rail. With the cap cleaned and prepped for the installation of the new rub rail, the installation guide calls for filling the holes with some 5200 since you're going to drill new holes for the install of the new rub rail. So we're going to go ahead and get that process started right now. The installation of the 5200 and the old rub rail screw holes keeps water from intruding through the cap and into the hole sides. It's just the right thing to do. I'd like to go over real quickly the items that come in the rub rail replacement kit and some of the other things that you're going to need out of your garage. The kit comes with a rub rail, vinyl insert, all of the hardware that you're going to need. Some of the other items that you're going to need are a plastic tub, I'll go over that with you in a minute measuring tape, some drill bits, a reversible drill, masking tape, a putty knife, pruning shears, and a tube of 5200. Oh, and for somebody like me, don't forget your glasses. One of the first things that the instruction guide is going to ask you to do is get a roll of masking tape so that you'll be able to mark the new holes that you're going to have to drill for the new rub rail. 
So let's show you what to do here. So what I'm going to do is go all the way around the cap of the boat, putting the tape down so that I can make six inch marks all the way around it so that we'll know where to drill and place the new holes. The next step in the instruction guide is going to ask you to take your tape measure and make six inch marks all the way up the masking tape that you just put on the cap. I'm going to show you a trick. A four by six index card is the exact width that you need to use to make your marks. That way you don't have to lug around a heavy tape measure but you can make sure it is the right distance so let me show you how to do this what you want to do here is avoid the old screw holes from the previous rub rail that way they don't overlap and you don't put a new screw in an old hole it's real simple you can see where you're going on the masking tape and with the index card with the masking tape marked at the six inch increment, it's now time to start the actual process of installing the rub rail to the cap. So let's go to the next step. I told you earlier I would explain the purpose of the plastic tub. The rub rail kits from Taco come in three separate lengths, 50, 70, and 100 feet. The rubber rub rail needs to be softened at about 120 degrees so that it'll be laid out straight and will be straight for the installation. The tub, a big cooler, or even your bathtub will need to be used so that you can soften the rubber and get it ready for installation. After you've allowed the rub rail to soak for about 20 minutes in 120 degree water in the tub, you want to make sure you stretch it out in a long distance, whether it be in your yard or on your driveway. So, be careful if you do it on your driveway not to allow it to scratch the surface of the rub rail. So we're going to go ahead and stretch this out. That way it's straight and easy to install on the cap. So after stretching out the rub rail, what we've done is mark the center point. This is a 70 foot piece of rub rail, so I took a 35 foot mark right here in the center. At this point we're going to take the rub rail, anchor it to the very front of the boat, put two screws in it about two inches apart, and then we'll be able to start the drilling process and the installation of the screws all the way down the cap. So what we've done now is we found the center point of the rub rail and the center point of the bow. I've made a couple of marks two inches apart so that we can center the rub rail and anchor it to the cap so we can go around the cap and install the rub rail. It's really a two-person job for this so if you've got somebody that can help you it'll make it a little bit easier. Once we've made the pilot holes for the set screws want to take a little bit of 5200 or silicone to put on your screw head so you got a watertight seal. The opening in the vinyl rub rail insert it's probably a little bit smaller than the screw head. So the best thing to do i found is take a Sharpie so that you can pry open the area and allow the screw to go in without the head hitting the rub rail. Another quick tip when you're drilling the pilot holes and installing the screws into the rub rail make sure that the chuck doesn't hit the face of the rub rail so that it scars it. With the center of the rub rail anchored we're going to go ahead and make some pilot holes into the areas that we marked six inches around the rub rail going from front to back that way it doesn't bunch and it stays smooth and even all the way around the cap of the boat.
I found when going around the radius on the cap to make sure that you put a pilot hole and a screw on each corner of the radius and then one right in the center. That way there's no gaps in the rub rail. At the beginning I told you we were going to need a set of printing shears out of your garage. Well let me show you why. It's a thick piece of rubber that you're dealing with with the taco metal rub rail. So the easiest thing to use to cut it, the fastest and the most precise is a set of pruning shears. We've marked precisely where we want to cut this because you only got one shot. So make sure it's right and let's proceed. With the completion of the rub rail installation, we're ready to install the insert into the rub rail. The instruction guide shows you to heat three feet of the insert at a time and just pinch it and push it right into the rub rail. If you do find heating the insert to be a little easier, no need to go buy an expensive heat gun. Just use a standard hair dryer. We just completed the rub rail insert installation. We're going to finish it off by putting the end caps on and we'll have a completed project. Before we trim off the tag end on the insert, I'd like to show you a quick trick to keep the insert from shrinking. We're going to drill a pilot hole and put a small stainless steel set screw to keep it from shrinking. It'll be covered by the end cap. And the final step is to drill the pilot holes and install the end cap. Taco Marine is going to have the style that you need for your boat. Whether it's damaged or you just want to increase and improve the appearance of your vessel, go to www.tacomarine.com. Pick out the style you need and get started on a fun afternoon project with possibly your family or friends. Enjoy yourself and until next time, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with the Liquid Fire Fishing Team in Cape Carter at North Carolina. Thanks so much for spending time with us and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.